everybody. Welcome back to another Little Steamers video. My name is Ms. Nicole and I am a Youth Services Librarian with the Grundy Library. Today's Little Steamers video is all about the water cycle. We're going to be doing a fun little experiment to kind of help you explain to your little ones what the water cycle is and how it kind of operates in our environment. So for today's experiment, you are going to need a cup of water. Uh, you could also use a funnel if you think it will help your little ones when pouring it but I just have a cup here today with the water. You're also gonna need some tape. You're also gonna need a sandwich bag. You're also gonna need a permanent marker or a Sharpie. And then lastly, this is also optional. You can also use some blue food coloring dye as well, just to get the water a little bit more prominent in color. With the color, you can really see it as it moves through the water cycle. Lastly, you're also going to need a window wherever you are that gets a lot of direct sunlight or just a lot of sun in general. That's where we're going to be taping up our sandwich bag with the water. So you can see how the water evaporates and it goes through the different water cycle. All right, now that you have all your supplies, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is take our permanent marker and draw on our plastic bag here. We're going to draw the sun to represent the heat. That's going to be our catalyst for evaporation. Then we are going to draw our cloud, which is going to represent where our rain might come from. And then we're going to draw some water down on the ground where our starting point is going to be. So once we do that, we are going to take our water and we are going to pour it into our plastic bag here. So this is going to be a great time if you want to use your funnel for your little ones, but otherwise you can just pour it right on in and you want to try to get it to fill up to that water line that you drew on your plastic bag. As you can see here, I'm trying to keep pouring until I see where the water is in relation to that line and I have to add more water in a few times. Once that is done, you can take your food coloring and that is where you're gonna wanna add some color so you can see and track your water better. So I recommend doing maybe three or four drops of the food coloring, you don't need a lot, just so it kinda adds that extra blue brightness to it so you can really see when the water starts to evaporate and condens condensation happens, you can really see it on the bag. All right, there you go. All right, our next step after that is to hang it on a window. So you're gonna use tape, you can use regular tape, you might need stronger tape depending on your window, and you're gonna leave that up there for a couple of hours to maybe a couple of days and watch what the water does. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed our water cycle experiment. As you can see, we were able to see some condensation on our bag as it sat in the window, in the sunny window. You can keep it up there as long as you would like just to kind of see how the water changes, how it evaporates, and, con and how the condensation gets on there. It's a really fun experiment that you can do with anyone of any age. So I really hope you enjoyed it, and I really appreciate you being here with us today. For more Little Steamers videos and other library programming, please visit our website at www.grundylibrary.org or check out our social media pages. Thank you so much, and I can't wait to see you for our next Little Steamers video. Goodbye!